Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. In this video, I want to do the final installation of the girdle. Install the oil pickup tube, make sure I have proper clearance to the oil pan, then install the oil pan. I'm going to start by fitting the girdle into place just to make sure everything is okay. Then I'm going to put the oil pan gasket on the girdle just so I can mock it up and get the proper distances set. Install the pickup tube, getting it started in the threads, and then screwing it all the way down to make sure it's tight. Now I want to put the oil pan on just to test fit it and make sure it's not hitting. Measure the distance to the bottom of the oil pan with a straight edge and a caliper. Then use a scrap piece of gasket to set up the depth of the pickup. The eighth inch of the straight edge makes up the perfect distance it should be from the bottom of the oil pan about eighth inch to three sixteenths. Next is to clean the oil pan rail so it is absolutely spotless. Apply a thin coat of silicone sealant. I'm using the Renzosil sealant. Now I can sit the girdle in place, making sure that it's flat all the way around as it should be. Apply a thin bead of the Renzosil or some sealant all the way around where the oil pan gasket is going to go. Set the oil pan gasket into place. Clean out the inside where you don't want sealant to be. Put the pickup tube back into the hole so we can do the final fitting. Check the distance again to make sure it hasn't moved. This is definitely your last opportunity to make sure you rotate the crank and nothing is interfering. Put a thin coating of a sealant on the gasket if you'd like to. I'm using the Renzosil again. Now I'm going to put the hardware in place and actually bolt the girdle down. The washers and nuts are provided with the girdle and you just install the hardware and get it hand tight just to start off. I just want to get them all seated to begin with. Then they get tightened to 70 foot-pounds. I'll do it in two stages. First at 30, then to 70 foot-pounds. For the final torque, I like to start in the center two caps, work my way out to the outside two caps. with a light coat of sealant on the pan. Now you can put the oil pan in place and install all the hardware. Quick rundown just to get them all seated and then go around and hand torque all of the fasteners. Finish up by wiping up all the way around to make sure it's nice and clean. This really is your last opportunity to make sure everything is rolling smooth and tighten underneath the oil pan. So make sure you do that first. Put the oil pan on, then you're all sealed up. We flip it over and we start working on a top end. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.